All right, my name is Jesse, and I am from PictureBandit.com, and this is ZBrush 3.1. Um, for your convenience, I've typed all these shortcut keys I'll be using, and in the same order that I'll be using them in, it is located um, in the More Info section on the right side of your YouTube screen. Uh, in this tutorial, I will be covering tips and tricks on getting started so if this is your first time using ZBrush uh, this is probably the video you've been looking for all right moving along when you first start up ZBrush you'll get a splash screen with a couple of options and stuff like that uh, I want you to go ahead and hit escape and it will bring you up to this default uh, ZBrush work area um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start with Z spheres and it's a super powerful tool that will allow us to create a base mesh. All right. And as we go, I'm going to uh, give you a couple tips on um, shortcut keys and stuff like that that you should be using. First, uh, come over here to the right and click Z sphere. And bring your tool out here to the center of your work area. And then left click and drag, you will create a Z sphere. Uh, before you do anything, after you drag it onto the, the canvas, go ahead and click T on your keyboard to activate edit mode. Uh, in this mode, I can click and add more Z spheres to my um, mesh. This is just creating the base mesh. Um, to try and kind of give you an idea of what we're actually doing here is... Uh, you can click anywhere on the z-sphere and drag and create another sphere directly connected to that sphere. If you hit A on the keyboard, it will create a mesh. And this is just temporary to preview your mesh. Hit A again, you can go back. Uh, one of the first shortcut keys you need to learn is Control z and that will undo any mistakes you might have made. Um, when dealing with uh, z-spheres, um, if you come to the top, you have some icons, draw, move, scale, and rotate. Their shortcut keys are Q, W, E, and R, respectively, and these help uh, manipulate or create spheres. So um, another shortcut key I want to show you or teach you is clicking X on the keyboard will mirror your symmetry on the x-axis. So not only when you're creating z-spheres, but while you're editing your mesh, this is a very handy tool. It's super helpful for creating um, characters and faces and stuff like that. And then if you click X again, uh, it'll go back to your standard editing mode. So for this one, we're going to go ahead and click X. And uh, we're going to create two small uh, z-spheres on the top. And now I'm going to come up here and click Move. So I can actually move these Z spheres. Um, you want to click on the outside circle to drag this thing around. Um, you'll notice that everything is done symmetrically, even uh, even when creating more Z spheres. And then to create Z spheres, you have to go back to the draw mode. Uh, if I come to the center, uh, you'll notice whenever I connect my uh, come to the center, the two uh, dots actually connect. When it's green, it creates a single z-sphere, and it will not let you bring that off axis. If you try to drag it side to side, it will not allow that. So I'm going to control z that, and I'm going to add another z-sphere up here to this one. Click move. And kind of drag this out a little bit. And the same thing for scale. I can scale them up or down and rotate them up or down. You hit A and you can preview what you've created so far. Uh, if you like what you've created, um, go ahead and click back on draw and go up here to the top right and click make poly mesh 3D. And now this is an actual mesh. Um, 
now that we have this mesh, it's very low resolution. Uh, the next thing I'm going to teach you is Control-D, and this will increase your resolution of your mesh. you got to kind of be careful when you do this because you don't want to... Um, um, you kind of want to stay away from a, a lot of active points. Anything over one and a half million uh, generally crashes uh, other three applications if you try to export your file. So hit Control D uh, two or three times and you can see the resolution increasing on your mesh. If you come over here to geometry and you can see uh, how many divisions that you have in your geometry, scrolling this back and forth will allow you to uh, go back and forth between those subdivisions. Uh, so you can make, you can actually make changes, uh, subtle changes, very detailed changes in a higher resolution, and then uh, you can come back to a lower resolution, uh, modify the shape of your object, and then when you go, you, when you go back to your high resolution, uh, these details will remain. Um, also, to conserve uh, memory, you can delete higher or lower uh, subdivisions. And in this case, I'm just going to delete lower subdivisions. All right. Um, what we're going to do now, we're going to get into editing the mesh. Uh, if, if you, um, once you create your uh, mesh by clicking Make Poly Mesh 3D, go ahead and hit X again on the keyboard, and this will get you back into the uh, mirrored symmetry mode. Um, if you just click and drag, across your mesh, you will add geometry to your mesh. Um, these, all of these are uh, clicking while over your mesh. I'm going to control Z and undo that. So clicking and dragging on your mesh will create geometry. If you alt click and then drag on your mesh, you will subtract geometry. Control Z that. So clicking and dragging will create, alt click and drag will subtract. and shift if you hold shift and then left click and drag this will actually smooth out the geometry so I'm going to undo that a couple times um, that's editing while over the mesh uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get into some of the brush tools if you just right click anywhere on your uh, workspace or canvas here uh, on or off of your um, mesh you'll get a, a brush control panel and uh, what I want to talk about first is the draw size or brush size. And and that will obviously you can kind of see what that's doing there. It's just changing your brush size, not your intensity. Control shift. Um, just hitting uh, alt and dragging on there uh, with a smaller brush size. Um, you go ahead and change your intensity. We'll, we'll talk about uh, the focal shift and RGB intensity in a different tutorial. That's a little, uh, it's more for advanced users and stuff like that. Uh, the main thing you want to focus on is draw size and Z intensity um, whenever it comes to the uh, just basic editing of a, of a mesh. Um, also, you have the three uh, or four tools down here as well. The icons that we used earlier. And uh, we'll be talking about these later on when we start transposing. Um, go back to brush tools. If you right click on the canvas, um, you have different brushes. You bring up your brush palette. It, um, the gouge is just like holding alt and uh, dragging across um, your mesh. And a lot of these are self-explanatory. You have uh, smooth, which is like just like holding um, shift and dragging across your mesh and then you have standard which is already selected um, you can kind of go through these and uh, just mess with them or whatever I like this one snake hook it's pretty cool you can kind of just click and drag stuff out it's pretty neat and um, the same thing goes if you hold a shift I mean alt control Z that so I'm going to go back to my standard brush now. Right click again, we're going to talk about alphas. Uh, right now the alpha alpha is off. If you just uh, right click and click your alpha, you bring up your alphas. Um, bunch of different alphas. You can do uh, um, stroke, you can bring up your stroke menu. Uh, you can kind of see right now we have uh, dots. If I was to 
take and draw on my mesh uh, using the dot mode it kind of drags it instead of just resizing the alpha if I use a drag rectangle and then click and drag out it adds it uh, in the same location it just resizes it or changes intensity as you drag so I'm going to control Z that and set these back to standard default for brushes all right um that's pretty much it for editing on top of the mesh let's talk about uh, moving the object and uh, you're going to want to do these next um, couple things while in open space or outside of the safety box here so you'll see you'll notice over here there's some a couple icons that say move scale and rotate that is for your canvas uh, when you're actually dealing with the object you want to stick to some of these commands I'll be showing you uh, first thing is outside you'll see the little rotate icon anywhere outside if you just left click and drag you will be able to rotate your mesh um, anywhere you let go your mesh will just stay in that kind of uh, orientation uh, a neat little trick is if you hit shift and then let go of your mouse it snaps to the nearest axis so if you wanted it perfectly facing away from you you could turn it kind of away hit shift and it will snap uh, to the nearest axis and uh, the next one is if you alt click and drag you can move this thing around so if you hold down alt click it on out in an open space and move it around you can drag this thing around uh, if you alt click and then let go of your alt button you can actually resize your mesh by moving the mouse up and down um, and then another uh, nifty thing is if you alt if you hold alt and double click in an open space or outside this box it will resize your mesh and um, uh, recenter it for you as well um, also uh, you might get into a situation where you don't have an open space uh, what you want to do is just use this area outside this white box and all of your move commands will still work for you um, the next thing we're going to talk about is masking areas um, masking areas or whatever you mask is not going to be affected by your brush uh, so the first thing will be to uh, control click and if you just hit hold down control and then kind of use your brush to draw on your uh, mesh that will actually mask mask off wherever uh, your brush is drawn um, if you control click in an open area it will reverse out your mask um, and then if you control click and drag a little in the open area that will um, get rid of your mask um, if you control click and drag over the mesh, uh, mesh it will mask right through your object. So if you wanted to mask them, you know, uh, this whole horn off instead of just the front of it, uh, if you control and click and drag over the whole horn, if you rotate that around, you'll see that it has masked uh, straight through your object. Um, the next thing would be is uh, if you control click within the mask, it will actually soften your mask selection. So I'm going to hold control and just click in here once, and you'll notice how my mask has been softened. Uh, just to kind of give you an example of what this mask is actually doing here is if I if I take and just click and drag on here um, you'll notice that it it affected everything even the other horn that's not masked off it affects everything that is not masked and, and it just doesn't affect anything that you have masked I'm just gonna control Z that real quick and hit control and drag an open area here and then rotate shift and re align my mesh okay um the next thing would be uh transposing an area and what you want to do is you want to mask off the area that you don't want to transpose and it's just another way of modifying parts of your object um, so what i want you to do now is go ahead and hit x on your keyboard to take off your x symmetry where you're uh, editing both sides of your mesh hit X and get rid of that because when you're transposing uh, that can cause a lot of problems on your mesh um, next is going to be we're going to hit hold control down and we're going to mask off uh, this horn right here now this is the horn that I actually want to modify so what I'm going to do is hold control and click out in this open area to reverse my mask so now none of this should be um, affected by my transpose tool all right um, 
you can use uh, the same icons up here, uh, Q, W, E, and R. And what you do is you click on one of these, and it'll bring up your transpose tool. Uh, once once you click on one of these, for whatever you plan on transpose, uh, whatever your transpose needs are, uh, obviously uh, self-explanatory. If you want to just move it or bend it or uh, rescale a limb or rotate a limb, you can uh, click on. The, the same transpose tool pops up for all three. Uh, once you have that, go ahead and click and drag uh, along the lines of what you want to transpose. Now, the um, the outside circle allows you to move your transpose tool around. The inside circle actually modifies your mesh. And that's pretty much how that works. I'm going to control Z that and click scale and just kind of show you a little bit on each one of those. Control Z, click rotate. Just to kind of give you a little. So the outer circle moves the tool, inner circle, when you're on top, uh, will move, will manipulate your object. And then if you use, move the outer circle in the middle, it actually moves your whole tool around instead of the end by end. All right, go back to draw. Uh, going to rotate and recenter. And the next thing is uh, hide or show areas of your mesh. Let me go ahead and hit control and kind of drag just to get rid of my mask here. So hiding and showing areas of the mesh. Um, you can hold control down and uh, shift when dragging over your mesh uh, on for the part that you want to work on. So if you hold down control and shift at the same time, and then kind of drag across the part portion of the mesh that you want to work on, what will happen is the rest of your mesh will disappear. It's not gone, it's not deleted, it's just stored away, and now you're saving uh, a lot more memory, and now uh, you can actually get in here and do a lot of detail work on this just, just this one portion of your mesh without taking up so much memory. So that, would, that was uh, hold down control and shift and drag over your mesh, uh, drag over the part of mesh that you want to work on. If you hold down control and shift and then click on top of your object, so holding control and shift and clicking on my object, it actually reverses what you're seeing. I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold alt and double click in this open space just to kind of resize and recenter my mesh. So holding control and shift and clicking on the mesh. And this is holding control and shift. And that just kind of reverses the portions that you're looking at. Um, if you hold control and shift and then click once outside of your mesh, control and shift, and just click once, it will show your entire object again. Um, some other tools that I didn't really cover are mallet, magnify, inflate. And you guys can get in there and kind of go through all of these. Uh, Morph is a, is a good one if you if you don't really, or move. I like the move tool um, for getting in here and, you know, kind of pulling that mesh around or whatever. But I would just like to say uh, thanks. Thanks to everyone for your positive comments. And uh, um, I'm not a professional tutorial maker. But if anyone has any questions or would like to see uh, any other tutorials, um, please shoot me a comment or a message and let me know, and I will do my best to accommodate. So thank you very much for your time.